Right, today I'm going to show you a little bit about a new pellet sizer. Uh, you saw this perhaps with Ted's videos. He uh, had Ray build him one. This is actually a two unit system. It does both 22 and 25 caliber and it has different size holes and it has different size uh, calibration sets so that way you can go versus a zero point. So this is set up to measure at 6.35 millimeters and so that's what the size of that is right here and so what you see is we have a Fowler indicator we have a piece here that lets us release the pellet when we drop it it pivots on itself so it makes it very easy to put a pellet in and right now you can see it's measuring zero based on the indicator so we pull that out set that aside and we can measure pellets we're measuring King 25 Diablos at 6.35 millimeter nominal head side and I measured 350 of these the other night they've been uh, very consistent unlike the 22 cows that I have from uh, JSB that have a lot of breath based on the limited measurements that I've done on those so a few features on this it's got a Fowler indicator these are changeable it's got a set screw so you can put a different or more accurate one on if you want to see more precision uh, it's got a nice thumb device that way you can put insert the head or insert the pellet head size down and release the pellet so you pull that back you simply use a indicator that's 6.35 millimeter in this case and so you simply put that in find out what your zero point is drop that in there verify that you get a zero you can zero that all right so we just pull that out now we've got a zero point so that everything will be set to that and so everything if it's smaller than that it would be minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.02 if it's bigger than that it's going to be a positive number um, nice feature just it rotates very smoothly allows you to drop this in the pan uh, basically we've been measuring some here and these have all shown up to be uh, as they're supposed to at zero uh, at 6.35 millimeters so they're going to go all into the zero bin this is going to be minus 0 0.01 and minus 0 0.02 based on my measurements the other night there were none larger than correct size they were all almost all of them were correct I believe uh, only 14 out of 350 uh, were slightly smaller than expected what I have been doing is taking if the pellet comes up the right size I've been accepting that number if it comes up smaller I've measured it a couple times if only one of those measurements showed to be off and they it came up to be zero for the rest of them after three measurements two out of the three I've accepted as a normal pellet just with a very slight defect um, you could probably you could perhaps be more rigorous and ex and not ex and exclude that pellet um, but three at two out of three measurements just from a size or just slightly out of uh, maybe not quite seated properly uh, that shows that it was uh, at zero on the other measurements I've accepted that pellet and we'll see how that shoots and so if it shoots well enough then I'll consider my criteria good enough if I need to take it to the next level then I will these pellets are going to be head size sorted and then they're going to be weight side weight sorted again 640 of them are almost should be 340 of them should be the pro, pro, the right size so we're only going to get rid of some of the flyers while we do this though one of the things we're going to look at is we're going to look so we're going to put this in drop it in set it down so this shows minus 0.1 one of the things I'm looking at is making sure that that skirt is correct so if I don't see any defect there's no flat points and so since this one did measure small I'll put the pellets to measure zero in and we'll go ahead and show you how this drops out falls out very nicely I put the basically just elevating this up 